We do see about like five to ten years earlier barriers of women climbing the ladder to become leadership. That's definitely a, a great barrier for a lot of girls out there. There's a lot of like uh, rules of law out there that could be adjusted. There are still some, you know, like wage gap, for instance, salary gap. There's still some gap that we can approach and address to be to make it more equal. I'm Suvida Sharonbong and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Telscore. First off, it's the concept of thinking in a very broad and being uh, as informed as possible. But in terms of action, we have to actually be quite in-depth in the actions, meaning that we have to be hands-on about things. Uh, we have to know the execution and the process about things. And then we would not be shy in terms of going into detail on the little things that actually would help us achieve the purpose. The second quality to me is really the team. The team around myself, we have here a very flat and horizontal organization structure, team structure. I respect every team member, uh, junior or senior. They contribute actually, I would say, the most towards our success. I would never say that I am successful, but if we say, are we successful as a team, maybe that is more, you know, acceptable. So I think that's about like the two most quality. First off, we have an open system of recruitment uh, without any gender bias. So that, I would say, it's a very concrete step. Uh, secondly, I would say, like, uh, in terms of workforce participations, to allow people to participate in a project, we select the people from the skill sets and experience rather than any gender lens. And then I would say a couple of thoughts other than that is like, you know, leadership opportunity or the culture we see, you know, emerging, uh, you know, like female leadership, also a trend that we feel in the past five years, it comes naturally to our workplace. We do see about like five to ten years earlier barriers of women climbing the ladder to become leadership. That's definitely a, a great barrier for a lot of girls out there. And second is like the barrier in terms of becoming a programmers, engineer, tech team. Coming today, 2024, for the past five years, we do not see a lot of barriers uh, between um, men and women in our workplace and also have been discussed that with a lot of the peers and entrepreneurs out there. We do see barriers between straight and uh, non-binary or between straight and LGBT. There's a lot to be done in terms of like empowerment, the equality of fluid gender uh, to be accepted and uh, in particular actually male LGBT. And not from the legal or from the framework of the society, but from the attitude of the people around them. So I think we all need to work hard to improve that. I would say a lot of the obstacles that we see out there right now is like they don't want to upskill or relearn or unlearn. Sometimes unlearn, except that the knowledge set that we have are already obsolete and have passion to learn new skill sets without feeling too tiring. Open up our education and knowledge and skills are definitely mindset. Mindset that we deserve the new knowledge, that we need the new knowledge. Very important skill. Just an hour per day is almost enough to actually reskill and unlearn within, you know, three months you will see definitely a big change just adding one hour of reskilling and upskilling so we really encourage that I would love to kind of like address this issue as an inside out approach starting from the woman uh, herself to really believe in herself to feel strong about herself to feel good about herself and to make good decisions then comes the next bigger structure of family workplace and society the people around the woman and the woman herself needs to kind of like you know be engaged in the conversation for instance like um, how you would like for other people to treat you actually is conversation that is very common in the Western world but not so in the Eastern world because people like Thai people Asia people we are shy we are humble and sometimes we don't feel that we deserve the kind of treatment that uh, you know we deserve to step up but not be you know violent or aggressive about it just talk about it to your friends talk about it to your family and your peers at work it's very important so that's you know something that starts from within but from the society outside in there's a lot of like uh, rules of law out there that could be adjusted there are still some you know like wage gap for instance salary gap there's still some gap that we can approach and address to be to make it more equal. There's a lot of independent organizations out there, non-profit organizations out there, and together 
uh, that with kind of like you know the rule of law or kind of like part of the structure in Thailand. Um, Thailand is a very actually one of the most equal country I would say in Asia. So that's um, something already an example that we should really talk about and be proud. Growth mindset has been talked a lot and for me definitely first off one has to know oneself so really understanding yourself is uh, actually already half the success of growth mindset and then uh, once we know ourselves uh, we want to be engaged with the people around us so it actually allows a reflection on ourselves every day as well so knowing the people around us this is actually a key facet and then third is developing a passion a set of passion one would feel lucky if they actually have a passion since they were young but actually for the most of us passion needs to be developed needs to be groomed without a passion and things that we love it is very hard to grow so passion is actually for me the utmost important aspects.